the Alex Len dream is over. And after a very underwhelming two months in Toronto, the Raptors have waived the seven foot center, which only leads me to believe that there is somebody on the way in, whether it be through a trade like somebody like JaVale McGee or through free agency for somebody like Rondé Hollis Jefferson. What is the Raptors plan with this move? Let's get into it. Welcome to Amateur Hour Sports. This is the channel where you get NBA content with a focus on the Toronto Raptors at least four days a week. So if it is your first time here with me today and you like what you see, you want more of myself talking about the Toronto Raptors in this vlog or video podcast style, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Start your support. Join the movement of the channel as we just hit 1800 subscribers on the channel thank you to everybody for the support we're pushing on to 2k also live streaming has started on the channel so if you like the content you want to do some raptors watch alongs with myself make sure you tune into the live streams we're live streaming tonight for the game against the miami heat make sure you are there i look forward to the streams seeing a lot of good people from the community in that chat but today's video we are talking about alex len getting waved by the toronto raptors and i guess you know, it, it didn't exactly come out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting it to happen on that day, but I wasn't exactly blindsided or surprised about this one. It made sense. You know, the Toronto Raptors have struggled with their true bigs this season. Aaron Baines has been pretty pathetic, and Alex Len even worse, other than his three corner three performance against the New York Knicks. Other than that, Alex Len has done pretty much nothing for the Toronto Raptors. It seems like they're trending towards only playing small ball lineups with OG Ananobi, Chris Boucher, Stanley Johnson playing at the five spot. So getting rid of Alex Len opens up a roster spot for somebody else to come in. I mean, surely, surely somebody else is on their way in. You know, they've already waived Dewan Hernandez in the offseason, and now they've waived Alex Len. So Raptors fans who are, you know, really hounding people like Masai Ujiri to make a trade for a big I think that this is what is going to happen now from here. So I believe that with this open roster spot, it, it kind of inclines me to believe that the Raptors are looking to move some picks for a big, maybe a player and a pick for a big, somebody like JaVale McGee. We know after the big James Harden trade, Cleveland were overstacked with big men. They already have Andre Drummond. They already had Kevin Love. They already had JaVale McGee. And now they also have Jared Allen. So what is the necessity to have JaVale McGee on your team. I think that the Raptors can realistically look at the Cleveland Cavaliers like somewhere they would get a cut price for a serviceable big in the NBA. Now say what you want about JaVale McGee. That man is a three-time NBA champion and was, you know, at least in the regular season, a contributor, a big contributor for all three teams that won an NBA championship. Now, as far as the Lakers go, didn't really get time in the NBA Finals, you know, kind of got taken out of his role in the NBA Finals, but still, JaVale McGee was a part of that Lakers team that won the NBA championship last year. And now he's in Cleveland because the Lakers made some money room for Mark Gasol. But I think that the Raptors should really look at a guy like JaVale McGee, like somebody they could bring in. I think they could trade over some wing depth, maybe somebody like Patrick McCaw and a second round pick throw that over to Cleveland to pick up JaVale McGee. I just think that Cleveland are looking to get some assets out of him now because they've got their bigs. They don't need JaVale McGee. They'd rather get something than nothing when he leaves in free agency in the summer. So the Raptors, I feel like this would be a decent fit. You know, JaVale McGee isn't a world beater. He's not going to light up the team by any means, but just a guy who does his job. That's what we're missing in the center spot. A guy who just does his job. He'll start for us. He won't get as many minutes as Chris Boucher at the five spot. However, he'll be that presence when we need him. He'll be that size, that rebounding, that rim protection, and maybe some inside scoring, just a few layups here and there because of his, his sheer size. I feel like this could be a good matchup for the Toronto Raptors working with JaVale McGee. Over the last few seasons, two seasons with the Lakers, one season with the Golden State Warriors, he's been that starting big. The big who starts the games, maybe doesn't you know play the most minutes. Like last year, started for the Lakers, but still Dwight Howard was that team's big. Because Dwight Howard got more minutes than JaVale McGee. However, JaVale McGee was that kind of, that tone setter to start off the game. The guy that just, you know, settled the team into the game and when they needed Dwight Howard to come in, he did. And I think that could work for the Raptors. Start JaVale McGee at the five and then once everything is settled down, once everything's, you know, we, we've set the tone for the game, then you can bring in Chris Boucher, you know, the potential sixth man of the year candidate, potential MIP candidate because Boucher has been tremendous off the bench. If you want to keep that scoring coming off the bench to be the difference maker off the bench, then you need to acquire a better big because Aaron Baines hasn't cut it this season. And sure, there were signs of promise in that game against the Dallas Mavericks, but 
you know, we need, we need to, if we want to be competitive, you know, we're on a three game win streak. If we want to continue to be competitive in the Eastern conference, I think that we really do need to bring somebody else in like JaVale McGee. That makes the most sense for me. Obviously in a perfect world, we go after Jared Allen, you know, the only 22 year old potential all defense level in the future. I would really like to go out for Jared Allen, but the price would be pretty hefty. I'm sure that the Cleveland Cavaliers who are looking at Andre Drummond, whose contract expires at the end of the season are looking at Jared Allen like their big for the future so I find it very unlikely that we would be able to attract a player like Jared Allen or Koopa a player like Jared Allen away from the Cleveland Cavaliers because I think the asking price is going to be a little bit too high especially the Raptors now with Chris Boucher playing so well might feel more confident just having Chris Boucher be the guy getting most of the minutes there and a lot of people are kind of clamoring for the Raptors to trade for Andre Drummond personally when it comes to Andre Drummond I see a guy making more money than he deserves and having an expiring contract in this season where I expect him to take a cut price deal to join a contender and I don't feel like the Raptors are going to be that team that would get him in free agency therefore I wouldn't trade a lot of assets to acquire him right now only to lose him in the summer I mean you got to be realistic with the Raptors here they're not going to be a contending team in the Eastern Conference they're not going to come out of the East this year so I don't think it's a good decision to trade away good pieces of your team to attract a guy like Andre Drummond just for him to leave and not really make much of a difference to the Raptors success over the course of the season but JaVale McGee you don't need to trade a lot you only trade a little bit and he comes in and I think he comes in and makes a difference I think he makes a positive difference for the Raptors would definitely make that trade now let's switch lanes instead of a trade maybe we're looking to add in a guy through free agency and I think there is no better player to add than Rondé Hollis Jefferson the hustle man who wasn't re-signed by the Raptors in the summer I thought that was a peculiar decision a lot of people in this community thought that it was a bit of a weird decision not to bring him back because sure he didn't contribute much in the playoffs but in the regular season you could always rely on Rondé Hollis Jefferson to come in and work work hard on the court be that hustle man that hustle man jefferson off the bench always played above his size decent finishing at the rim obviously couldn't shoot but decent finishing at the rim and played above his size in the paint could get rebounds even over bigger guys when we were injury depleted even a few times got himself in the starting lineup starting at the five spot when we didn't have Mark Gasol or Serge Ibaka available now mostly OG Ananobi got those big minutes but Ronnie Hollis Jefferson listed as the center to start a couple of games throughout the regular season I feel like you know with this guy just just sitting there waiting for a team to sign him he already bought into the Raptors you know culture last year so I don't see why this wouldn't make sense for the Raptors to bring in Hustle Man Jefferson back to the team. Also, the Raptors are a team who's looking like they're going to be playing small ball for a lot of the season and they need guys who play above their size these wing players who play above their size and Rondé Hollis Jefferson is exactly that and plays some pretty good defense as well and is a good rebounder things that the Raptors are missing right now you know some some better wing defenders and better rebounders Rondé Hollis Jefferson can be that guy last season he had a defensive rating over 100 possessions of 104 and an offensive rating of 114 over 100 possessions I feel like those are great numbers even in his limited minutes those are telling numbers and I feel like this makes sense this makes a lot of sense for a Toronto Raptors team who are lacking maybe not so right now maybe if we're talking about a week ago a team that was lacking an identity on defense a team that was lacking real heart and desire and I think Rondé Hollis Jefferson definitely comes in and completely changes that regardless of who we get I'm sure Masai Ujiri is in the lab right now cooking up a storm He's really working hard to make this team better. He probably sees promise in this team after three straight victories, looking to make it four tonight against the Miami Heat. Masai Ujiri isn't just waving Alex Len for no reason. I'm sure there is something on the horizon for the Raptors, whether it be a trade for somebody like JaVale McGee, whether it be a free agent pickup. Masai Ujiri is working on something for this Toronto Raptors team. Always and forever, I'm going to trust Masai Ujiri. I believe in Masai, and uh, it reigns true here. I believe he has something in the lab, something he is working on to make this Toronto Raptors team better. In my opinion, the best course of action would be to probably do both trade for JaVale McGee and also bring in Rondé Hollis Jefferson if you can free up a roster spot that would be my course of action here but who knows what Masai Ujiri is doing here my my personal opinion is that the most likely scenario is that JaVale McGee is a Toronto Raptor within the next month or so but we'll have to wait and see it may not happen we may not do anything we may do something else 
we'll have to just wait and see. To be honest, yesterday, I was kind of expecting something to have happened by the end of the day after waving Alex Len. I feel like they waved him because they had something else in place. But time will tell. Maybe something will happen today. Maybe something will happen before this video even makes it out. But We'll just have to wait and see. All we can do is play and win tonight against the Miami Heat. What do you guys make of this decision to waive Alex Len? And what do you think the Raptors have in mind in waving Alex Len? Do you think they're going to make a trade? Who are they trading for? Do you think they're going to bring in a free agent? Which free agent are they going to bring in? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. But that wraps up for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are still here, please like the video. If you like and subscribe to MHR Sports for more content just like this. We're live streaming tonight for a watch along for the game against the Miami Heat. If you like the channel, you like what I do, come check it out. Maybe you'll have a bit of fun. Join the chat. We had a great time for the last couple of games. Let's hope to make it another great time tonight. At the end of the day, I believe what I say. If you disagree, that is okay. We'll see you again next time for another video.